In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerShell to quickly get a list of the installed roles and features on Windows Server. Um, this can be done with the git windows feature command. Git windows feature. And the, the command with no by default will list everything. It's going to list the available roles, the installed roles and features, um, any that's been removed, which you probably don't want to see all that. So we can filter the list to just display the installed roles. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting the Windows features and then I'm filtering it and looking for the roles and features that are just in the installed state. So when I run this, now you can see it's listing just the installed roles. It's filtered out all the ones that are available and now I've got a nice list here of everything that's installed. Um, but you can see it's got the display name and the name, which are pretty much the same. So we can clean this up a little bit to make it even easier to read. So what I'll do is I'm going to just select the columns that I want to display. So I just want the name and the install state. Now I've got a really clean list of the roles and features and the installed state. Um, you can also do this for remote computers. So I'm on one server and I want to get the list of installed roles and features for another, for a remote computer. So you just need to put in, after the command get windows features, just put in dash computer and then the computer name. So I'm going to get a list of everything that's on the remote host name DC1. And you can see now I've got a list of everything that's on that remote computer. And fortunately it lists the uh, features and roles. I, I don't, I could not find a way to filter out and display just the features or the roles. So going back to just this computer, you'll see it's got both roles and features. So the telnet clients, a feature in the AD domain services, DHCP, DNS, those are all roles. Um, one other command to show you is how to search. So you can you could do get Windows feature, and then you can put in the name. If you know the name, if you don't know the name, you could do a wildcard search. So I'm gonna do AD, because I'm, I'm gonna look for all Active Directory related services, since I don't know their names, because you can see they've all got different names, but you can do a wildcard search and now it's it's filtered everything out or search for everything that just has AD um, somewhere in the name. You know, it could be the display name, the name. Um, or actually looks like it's filtering on the name. Name column, AD, AD, AD. So here's all the stuff that's AD. So that's pretty much it. Very easy to use. I'll put these commands in the notes they're also on my website uh, but it's a really quick way instead of having to go through the server manager clicking on add roles features next 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 and then you, sometimes when you first load this up you have to wait for it to gather information and that can take a while it's just really painful process if you want a quick way to just see what's installed on the server the server manager GUI is can be very very slow and the PowerShell option is a really quick way to display everything, the uh, roles and features, and just get what's installed. So again, um, I'll put these commands in the notes, and they're also on my website. That's it. Thanks for watching.